What's up? This is Jad T. Jones from jadtjones.com. And today we're going to be talking about depression, pain, and suffering, and how to turn things positive. All right. So I got some guys who are going through really hard times and they're emailing me about depression and that they can't seem to find happiness and all this stuff. The human condition is to suffer. We all suffer. So number one thing you need to know is that you are not alone in your suffering. A mistake a lot of people make is that they think they're this unique snowflake who suffers more than other people and they have it more worse off than other people and that this gives them a permission to be a victim. This is not true. We all suffer. We are all together in our suffering. Your job as a man is to take that suffering that you have and transmute it, transform it, redirect it into something positive. There's a story that I want you to read. It's a book by Paulo Coelho called The Alchemist. This is a story of a man who is learning how to be an alchemist. Alchemy uh, is the art of transmuting one thing into something else. So the story goes that he wants to learn how to transmute uh, lead into gold. So he's learning to be an alchemist so that he can transform lead into gold. Well, you and I in our lives are also alchemists. Our mission as men is to transform suffering, which is what lead is symbolic for, into gold into something positive. So I'm going to give you an example in my life, how I took my pain and my suffering, my anger and my sadness and the dark, deep hole that I felt I was in for so many years that I felt that I was just trying to claw my way out of and I couldn't get out of how I eventually turned that, which is lead into gold, how I transmuted it. Growing up, one of my biggest frustrations was that I did not have a male role model in my life. I did not have a big brother and my father was forced to spend most of the time away from the family because he was trying to provide a good life for us. So he was busy at work. So he was not there for me. It's not his fault. It's the way, you know, he was working hard for the family and he wasn't there. He wasn't there. Mom was there. Dad was not. So my biggest struggle was that I did not have anyone teaching me how to become a man, how to stand up for myself, how to talk to girls, how to, you know, move through the world and, and, and be a, a be a man. So um, I, I went through a lot of suffering, a lot of depression, deep depression, uh, for many years, I was unable to, to feel happy. A smile on my face was just a muscle movement. It was never genuine. Uh, laughter didn't even come naturally to me because I was in such a dark place. So I'm telling you this because we, we all suffer. And so how did I transmute that darkness and that hopelessness and that even bitterness that, hey, nobody took care of me. No one was there for me. How did I turn that into something positive? I created a YouTube channel and I gave to others what I missed in my own life. So I made this YouTube channel uh, about how to talk to girls, how to be a real man, how to have success in life. And basically I gave up, I gave all the advice out, uh, the same advice a big brother would give or a father would give. I basically, this whole channel is built around what I wish someone would have told me when I was younger that would have saved me years of struggle, frustration, depression, sadness, pain, sorrow, and so on. So I took my pain and I turned it into help for others. I took the lead and as it, like an, an alchemist, I transformed it into gold. I, I took my pain and I said, I gave it out to the world and I said, here, here guys, you don't have to go through the pain and loneliness and desperation and confusion that I went through. Here are the answers. Here is a here's a here's a guide. You know, 
don't go that way. That way it'll hurt you. Go this way, you know. Uh, don't don't lie and manipulate. Uh, live with integrity, you know. All these things. So, in your life, if you're suffering right now, it's normal. Your mission as a man is to see how you can take that that suffering and that pain and turn it into an asset, into something that you can help the world with. Okay. So again, I did it through my videos, through giving. Uh, you know, advice and information and, and telling people, hey, I went this way. It wasn't good. I recommend you go this way. Uh, but you can do it in so many ways. If you have anger, maybe you can take that anger and channel it, you know, uh, go start uh, channel it towards fitness, start going and getting fit. Or maybe you can take it, take that anger and sorrow and, and use it and express it through art. Okay, the arts, dance, music, playing some kind of instrument, painting, you know, there's, there's so much, uh, the human spirit, I believe the, the most honest expression of the human spirit is through art. So if you have something inside of you that's eating away at you, well, maybe you can turn it into something beautiful through art, through, through, you know, song, through, um, you know, painting or drawing or music or, or dance or, or whatever, whatever it is, but you need to be an alchemist. You need to be an alchemist. You cannot be a victim. You need to find a way to transform that. I watched a, a movie recently. It's on Netflix. It's called, I think it's called Sex Ed. And it's a comedy about uh, a teacher who wants to teach sex, sex sexual education to kids. And uh, in that movie, this guy has goes to the bar, this bar where there's a there's a woman there. And uh, every time he's going through a hard time, she gives him advice. And even though it's a comedy movie, the advice that that woman gives him is actually really, really good advice for every man. And uh, one one line in that movie, she said that was really powerful, that really hit home for me is she said, because he was moping because I don't know, he lost a girl or things didn't go his way and he was drinking and he was feeling sorry for himself. And she looked at him and she said, real men don't mope. Real men don't mope. And if English is your second language, moping basically means like, oh, poor me. Oh, poor me, nothing going right. You know, feeling sorry for yourself, playing victim. So real men don't mope. So if you're somebody who's moping, who's, uh, if you think you're a victim and you're feeling sorry for yourself, that's not what a real man does. A real man gets knocked down just like everybody else gets knocked down. You're not special because you got knocked down. You get knocked down. You sit down for a while. You catch your breath again. You dust yourself off. You think, okay, what did I do wrong? What did I do that didn't work before? What can I do differently this time? All right, let's do this. And you got to keep going and keep moving forward. That's what a man does. Okay. We all suffer. Some, some of us suffer for really minor things. Like if I look at my own life, the things I suffered for, they're really minor. Okay. I suffered deeply and I was in a very dark place, probably unjustifiably, but I had no one there to give me perspective. So I thought my problems were really big. But really, I nothing really like I was never a slave. I never went to jail. I was never sexually molested. I was never beaten. You know, I was never, you know, I, I didn't lose any of my limbs. I was never in a war. Like nothing really major happened to me. Uh, so, you know, like, but I still suffered. So maybe with you, something really major happened. Maybe nothing really major, but you still suffer. But we all suffer. So. The, the, the point I want to say is you're not special. Don't think that, oh, I'm special in my suffering and I suffer more than other people. Because the second you do, you're letting yourself be a victim. And a victim, by definition, is helpless. And if you see yourself as helpless, it's over. It's over. Where are you going to go from there? So this is a wake-up call. I want to also give you some perspective. All right. Like uh, there are there are young men in Africa who are slaves who have to work 
hundreds of, I think hundreds of feet or hundreds of meters under the ground mining and they're slaves and they're in debt and they'll never, they're trying to work their way out of debt, but they won't work their way out of that debt. So they're slaves and they're, they're working day and night uh, for years in those mines and then they're getting uh, skin infections and then if they don't die from some accident in the mine, they're going to die of those skin infections like mercury or something. There are women with their sons and daughters, little like five-year-old, seven-year-old sons and daughters who have to walk through heaps of garbage and collect tin cans and glass uh, so at the end of the day they can collect a dollar or two so that they can eat their food. All right, those are problems. You and I, we have this, a nose itch. So take your hand, reach up, and scratch your nose and get on with your life. That's what a man does. All right, you are not special in your suffering. We all suffer, we're in it together. Your job is to be an alchemist and to take your suffering and find out a way how to transform it into gold, into light, into love. All right, so if you're having a hard time in life, we all have a hard time in life and life never gets to the point where you don't experience any pain unless you become enlightened and the percentage of people who become truly enlightened is very, very small. So instead of waiting for that time, if you're going to be one of those lucky people, you need to get on with your life. All right. You need to dust yourself off, get up, start being assertive and, and, and proactively see how can I transform my pain into something positive and give that because you see pain is a pain when transformed, transmuted becomes a gift. All right. My past pain became a gift to you guys because I saved you a lot of effort and time. And now you have somebody there for you. So my pain turned into a gift to the world. But if I had given up and just thrown a pity party for myself, well, then that pain was for nothing. Don't let your pain be for nothing. OK, use it and make it something. Make it worth something. Save somebody else the pain that you went through. All right. For example, if you were sexually molested, you can help someone else or a group of people by by, you know, talking about it and, and you know, helping them out, supporting them or whatever it is. OK, but um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that. OK, in closing, I will say that I'm not a licensed professional and uh, this is not advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. And if you feel uh, very depressed and you have suicidal thoughts, go seek professional help. It's OK. And uh, sometimes people have uh, bipolar conditions or conditions where their depression is very, very serious. So if you suspect that you have something extreme, go to a doctor, go to a therapist, go to someone, someone professional. All right. And um, that's it. I hope this video helped and I'll see you later. Take care.